Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RSN, another edition <clears throat> of RSN Truck Race today, and we are actually running a little late today, but we have our first truck up for qualifying. It is Josh in Plasma's truck today as a substitute, subbing for that number nine Penske truck of Plasma. Currently leading the points. And, uh. Oh, there's a truck going backwards on track. Don't know what uh. what that's all about. But well, that's gonna slow down this qualifying lap. But there he goes. Start his lap. Staying in that high lane. He's running up against the wall. This is like an expected qualifying line. That, uh, yeah, on the outside lane, you always get a run coming out the exits. Yeah. So it's a good place to make some good time. Uh, a little bit of a wall top. I don't know if they're going to invalidate him there. But uh, it'd be interesting if they did. That's his lap, though. And that's going to get be good enough to get him at 29-2. Um, so he's going to go... And head on in, and the next truck up to qualify is the number 10 truck of Halo, being driven by Para, a sub. He will miss out on driving his own truck today, but uh, that's okay. I don't know why they're doing two laps today, but they've decided to do two laps, which is just going to prolong qualifying. <sighs> so there you go, folks. There you have it. Very good job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so how are you doing today, Rex? I'm doing great. Great, great, great. Still, still uh, recovering from the uh, the race. It's uh, it's all good. Uh, wherever track we're going to next, we'll uh, we'll see what happens there. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah, I got you. Up to qualify. That number 10 car. Halo's car driven by... Para Von Kalk... <laughs> Para Von Kalk Ruth. Kalk Ruth. <laughs> uh, good driver. Brought up from Arca. To fill in the shoes of the number 7... No, I'm stupid. The number five truck of NF55 uh, out of the season with a broken arm. And uh, Team Penske decided that was enough to get him out of there. And that they did. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, let's see where that first lap puts him. That's going to put him in pole position so he really doesn't need to do another lap I guess they are doing one lap so I can't know I don't know why Josh got two that must have been a mistake on Josh's part but there goes the number 88 K dub he's been a solid driver um not picking wait who is that on track I don't know I'm not, I'm not picking him up on my spectate system right now so we're just gonna go on board with him how about the, never mind they we're not doing any on boards today on, on the trucks. Into the wall. Got to keep it off that wall. You don't want an invalidation. That's no bueno. Nope. No bueno. Nope. Uh, you don't want to start at the back at uh, Michigan, that's for sure. No, very not good. Very not good. Do you think we're going to see... Ooh, a little bit of a wall tap. Just a little bit. I don't think he gained time. He's actually really slow through this first and second turn. Do you think... There's going to be a lot of cautions this time around. Well, uh, it's Division 3, so uh, we see a lot of things. But uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot of uh, cautions. I think it's going to be more of a green flag racing. But we're going to see a lot of uh, green flag pit stops, for sure. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I get nervous with the green flag pit stops with the truck drivers, because I, I tell you... <sighs> <laughs> Hopefully 
weight's not bad. Number 18, NASA, T I think TRGL thing. But uh, regardless, the number 18, TRGL, uh, Chevy, disgusting. NASA, KM bug, 84, <laughs> up to qualify. I also believe he's been having a good year. You know, he better have a good year. He's driving that 18 truck. So, um, oh, yeah. So he hits that microscopic bump that, you know, didn't cause any problems in the Xfinity race. But, you know, some people have problems with the bump. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a lot of people complaining, but uh, no problems yesterday. No problems yesterday. I mean, but hey, what do I know? We might be delusional, Rex. So we might be cuckoo. Yeah, we never know. You never know. Anyways, <laughs> that's a, l a good lap up for KM Bug, I believe. Let's see where that puts him. That's Provisional Pole. He knocks Para off of Provisional Pole. And now we have... Uh, the 74 truck of... Who is that? That's uh, Max Adenator. Max Adenator. Now he died. Oh. Uh, you see, he's an all star oh, he racing did. truck. He died. I don't. But he's Rest back now. Peace. He's back now. Don't know where he went. But he's back now. That's all that matters. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember too much about his driving. I don't know why. Anyways. I don't know where he went. Don't know where he went, but he's back yep. now. Again, spectate system giving me problems. So we're just gonna have to use our friend, our old friend, the trusty watch command. Technical difficulties today at RSN. We apologize for any inconvenience. Yes. Oh, braked a little too much in there. You know. Oh, yeah. He's all over the road. You can tell when they break. When they've braked. What's the past tense of break? Is it Breaking. Broke? Or bro oh. or braked. Braked? Breaks? Broke? Broke? Braked? I don't know. He broke? He broke. No, I think it's he braked. He braked. Yeah, he braked. He missed braked. the braking zone. No, that's not past tense. He braked the car. He broke. He braked at the braking zone. He braked at the braking zone. Yeah. See? Yeah. English lessons <laughs> on RSN. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what happened to Max. I think he qualified. Yeah, that's what happened. He qualified last. Rather embarrassing. Uh, let's go. Bo <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. I didn't mean it, Max. I didn't mean it if you're watching. Let's go on board with Zub Z, number 23. Very interesting scheme. Um, Gold Leaf Team Lotus? I don't know. Team Lotus is an F1 team. Or well, they used to be an F1 team. Now they're... I guess they moved into the truck series for oh, RCRA. No, 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 no. He already hit that wall, and he hasn't even started his qualifying lap. No bueno. No bueno. Yep, no bueno. So, but there you go. He had another... Um, stroke. Stroke. Oh, yeah, that, that ought to be an invalidation and a half. Never mind. He just slowed down so much, it doesn't matter. That's last position. <laughs> Tough break for the... Uh... Soft break for the uh, is it whose team is he on? Take KKR. TK I don't know. But uh Ooh, got loose coming just a little loose. Not no biggie. And that as expected. Thirty one seconds. Oh no, 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 no. That is not the qualifying uh, time that you want. <sighs> Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. Up out on track, Soccer Monkey. <laughs> oh, this is a new driver. Welcome to the RCRA, Soccer yes. Monkey. Driving, it's your driver, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I have all four of my active drivers actually on the track today. Oh yeah, good for you, man. Yeah. You know, you stole you stole Lou from me, but it's okay. It's no biggie. It, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll just we'll you just have to say. we'll just have to give you a, a lug nut penalty next race. Um, Don't worry. Come up at the uh, at the Xfinity team next year. <laughs> so here goes your driver starting his lap. Soccer stays off the wall. Okay, he's looking quick. He's looking quick. Staying off that wall. He's, yeah. Okay. Okay. Not so shabby. Not too shabby. A little too hard into the braking zone there, though, in my opinion. Yep. 
He slid up the track. A little bit of a wall tap. Not too bad, though. Let's see where he's going to place. Okay. Behind Josh? That's not bad. That's not bad. 29-3. At least it's not yeah, a 31-4. Yeah, not a bad time for a rookie driver. Yeah. Not a bad time for... And uh, the reason why I'm not talking much is uh, because I'm in the... Uh, the deer stand booth. So still, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just can't get enough of them woods. Xander <laughs> Thompson, fifty-six, subbing that TRGL twenty-seven, dirty, dirty, yes, dirty, dirty, <laughs> dirty, dirty Chevy. Xander is a Tives <laughs> Xfinity for TRGL, and that is why he is subbing for his teammate. He was supposed to charter. But his teammate made the call, and Xander answered the call. There he goes, starting his green flag lap. I feel bad for some of the truck drivers today, because... Um, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a couple of Xfinity drivers in the field. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of substitutes from the uh, divisions above them. Fortunately, I have to babysit while I'm commentating, so, you know... Yeah. To the RCRA. Uh -huh. Yeah, you did that in the Xfinity race, so it's all right, I guess. Daycare, daycare out here. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's no biggie. It happens. It looks like Dog might be taking control here, and praise the Lord, because you know Dog, Dog actually has brain cells. He makes some weird noises sometimes, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna. <laughs> I mean, I, what's going on here on pit row? So Xander. Got to cover the story. Places third. Now I think we're waiting for a truck to pull up the pit road. I don't know what's going on here. Hello? Where is he? What's going on? That number 74 truck. I guess no one's in it. They got to get it going here. Got to get the ball rolling. Who's next, folks? Come on. Nothing? Okay. They're going to skip... Don't really know what this order is right now, but they're gonna send um, another one of your drivers out onto the track. Who's that? The anime Supra. There's oh, it's uh, the, the track, fifty-two, and I just can't figure out what they're doing there. Okay, the fifty-two anime Supra. Is this some? Um, who is this again? That's, uh, that's Furret. That's their, uh, name. Furret. Okay, a Furret the, is an animal. I don't know if you knew that. Well. Oh, you know. Furret's an animal. He looks good in tryouts, so. Halo or Para? What? What you talking about? So, anyways. Oh, he's entering the pole. I see. Well, you're wrong. Unfortunately. Here is <laughs> Ferret coming up to qualify here. His first qualifying lap as a Northern Motorsports driver and a driver in the RCRA, and the second qualifying lap ever for a Northern Motorsports truck. Let's see how he does. You know who I'm really waiting to see? I'm, I'm waiting to see Lou. That's who I'm yeah. waiting to see. Yeah, lovely scheme, too, for the uh, 52. I know. I mean, I, I, I wonder what base the guy that made it used. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a lovely base. I wish I knew. Yeah. I wish I wish I knew how to get bases. I just don't know how to use base. I'm just I'm just such a good scheme creator. I just don't know how to use a base. I just don't know how. Could you teach me, Rex? <laughs> what? No, I, I I don't know how to use it either. So I don't know how I could teach you. Right, right. Forgot. <laughs> you're the pro you're professional. After all, you did yeah, make that yeah. Martin Truex Jr. scheme, right? Yeah. I did too. I actually did make that one. Okay. Well, it's nice. So when are you gonna make the orange one? Whenever I can uh, find, find the base. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with glitch. He had to go start that qualifying lap though. Okay. Here he comes out of the.
Uh, had a little bit of a brain freeze. Running up a, that groove, a little slow. You can tell he's a little slow because he slides down the track. And he's also slow going onto the back stretch. See how he does in this sector. Say so he's in the high lane. Again, he, he checked up. It, I don't know. He, 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 once you get the truck turning, you don't need to get off the gas in that turn. You just have to get off on entry, I think. So, what? Somehow he placed pole. Don't ask me. Who how. placed pole? A glitch. Good for him. I applaud yeah. him. Uh, after, after missing two races in a row uh, at the truck level. Failing to qualify, I'm sure he's a happy person. After all, he was supposed to be better than all the current truck drivers, according to the man that keeps on chartering him. But anyways, this is not a stream for beef, this is a stream for entertainment. Racing. And racing. Here goes Lee. Two black flags in a row. Not surprised. <laughs> not surprised, says Rex. And, uh... You know, he's at risk of being suspended, so he better not get the black flag here. Here's the thing with Lee. He's good at qualifying, but he's absolutely horrible at driving in a race. And yeah. it's, it's unfortunate, because, you know, he's a fast guy sometimes, but uh, he doesn't make friends on the track. He's like Kyle no. Busch, but he just doesn't drive good. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm not going to compare him to Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch doesn't get black flagged, <coughs> even after running people over, almost off the track I'm the baby for real placing uh one two three four I can't count fifth fifth top fry I meant top five not top fry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have eleven trucks that have oh is this him this is him this is Lou look at him is that look him in that top hat Excuse Lovely the interior. We, excuse the interior. We just have such bad devs at the RCRA. You know, we just can't do anything right. I mean, the track's got no. bumps in them. The interior sucks. I mean... Anyways. <coughs> Lou got out of his <laughs> truck. I don't know why. don't know what he's doing. Wake up, Terry. I mean, you ought to just send Lou out. He's already at the line. Don't know what's going on. So, is, is yeah. Bridgestone like a secondary sponsor for all your trucks then, or? It, it basically is. They uh, they are the main sponsor of uh, Northern Motorsports and uh, mm -hmm. myself as the uh, Xfinity driver. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but um, NASCAR stopped using Bridgestone tires uh, like uh, 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. That's crazy because. Uh, so, did you make this one? Yeah, I did the uh, the Menards one. Yeah, I made that one also as well. It looks nice. <laughs> I see you took some uh, uh, hit uh, inspiration from Matt Crafton. Yes. Oh! Oh my God, he got a little loose, just a little bit. Oh no! I'm, uh, no. I'm looking to see one of those uh, Northern Motorsports drivers to bring it home today. Well, that would be a story to behold. Yes. See First Lou. ever uh, truck start for Northern Motorsports. Yeah, and I think they're all going to... I think all four of your trucks will make it past qualifying. Ooh, Lou, slightly into the wall. But again, if that, like, that wasn't a bad wall tap at all. Lou places just below soccer. And I think he is... He's not at danger of being eliminated right now. So, good for him. So, up now, the number seven car of Kimberly, another new driver. <sighs> you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so another new driver, Kimberly. She did well in her tryout. She got her license. Sky took her, took her on. No simps. <laughs> That's an interesting <laughs> sticker. I've, folks, I just want to make it clear. I'm laughing at the no stim sticker, okay? <laughs> it's just, I, I just wasn't expecting to see it there. It's a nice <laughs> scheme. Babies are us, you noob. It's an interesting I take think on we a scheme. I don't know the, uh, the inside joke. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but 
My only complaint with this game is I wish that they would have used one of the Toyota templates we provided. But it's okay. Yeah, it's what happens when, you it's know, pretty. you have people... Nah, nah, who it's like pretty. It. It's pretty. Nice scheme. <laughs> and uh, I think I think she's actually going to be replacing... Demonic. Not surprising. Demonic's one of the uh, aggressive drivers of uh, D2. Yeah, I... He just kind of <laughs> demonic, yeah. Where do we start? Anyways, here comes Kimberly, her first qualifying lap in a truck. Her first qualifying lap in RCRA. The first R the first female driver in RCRA. And um, honestly, I'm glad we have such a diverse community here. It is... It's, it's crazy to think that we've come this far. And look, so far she's looking fast. I might, I, I might even put her down as pole. I don't know. Th that was a really fast I, uh, lap. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we've seen her. Uh, we've seen her in a truck fundraiser. Oh race that my time. god! Did she get pole? Wait, she just got pole position. No. She just got pole position. Give me a second, real quick. Good for her. Good for her. You know what? I think that's going to shut a lot of people up. That's going to shut a lot of people up right there. Rex being one of them. Hi, hey, Rex. How you doing? Uh, I'm good job. Very good job. Um, I think a lot of people are... Wow. A lot of people are excited in there. Um, definitely uh, not mad that a... Uh... No. Not mad at all. See, we got a nice no, community not... here. Terry's like dead yes. in that truck. Lovely community. If you guys are interested, you can uh, join the Discord as well. Yes, we do have a Discord. Shocker. I know, right? Yeah, okay. discord.gg slash rscra. Yes. Anyways, I don't know if this is the qualifying list, but as it stands, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Zub Z. <laughs> That's what happens when you get 30. Wait, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Zub Z would be out with a sub 29 second qualifying lap. And that's just unfortunate. I guess. Don't know how you get a sub 29 second yeah. qualifying lap. Do you know if uh, Phil is subbing? Don't know. Do not know. Okay. So, uh, who's left to qualify? Um, I don't know. The run was clean, and uh, Kimberly, K Imaginary, in her first qualifying lap, AR Siri has taken a pole position. So, uh, history being made, maybe history can be made again. Um, maybe first she'll women, be the first, first female woman winner. to ever win in RCRA. You know, you know what this reminds me of, and I, no, I probably shouldn't say that. It's gonna, it's gonna cause controversy. No, I am gonna say it. This reminds me of Danica Patrick, and let me tell you why. Not because Danica Patrick had a rough career, but when Danica Patrick first started at NASCAR, everybody was very hyped about it, and well, to say it the least, she she performed poorly. But Kimberly. I mean, she was in front of Jeff Gordon for the lead at, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Dega or Daytona. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she flopped, didn't she? Uh, yeah, definitely did not get dumped. Um, no, definitely um, not. But anyways, no. enough about Danica. What I'm trying to say is, Kimberly is almost like the reverse Danica. You know, She's like, good. Danica is bad. Yeah, decent, decent driver compared to uh, most of the people. And uh, D3. Yes, but then again, she has had a lot. She's maybe put in what three, four, a thousand laps of practice here. Don't know. Yeah, why, she. Uh, don't know why. Excuse the femboy. Um, sorry, I can't say. <laughs> excuse the <laughs> large-sized man on the screen. Um, <laughs> yeah, now they're blowing people up. So is, is qualifying done? Is what's going on here? So, uh, who do you think's gonna? 
win the race? Win. I don't know. Yeah, early, I, early picks. Early picks. Early picks. I'll tell you my top three. Okay. Kimberly. Who Why, is I, we will do the national anthems. Who's this guy? So. Me? Where dog is right in the order and we'll be doing national anthems when Cerberi starts. Okay. Hang on, wait, uh, it's up to you. It's up to you, cause 13 people qualified. So this guy. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, he's not here, yeah. Yep, I'll send you a list. Facts, that's just... <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, server shut All down. Right, so, uh, your cool. top three. Yeah, I muted my self stream because um, uh, some a rascal got in the VC and needed to express his opinions. Wait, that sounds bad. Anyways, we're gonna rejoin the game and uh, hopefully get the race underway. Now they do have. Okay, there's a truck rolling on on track. We have national anthems and we need cars removed <laughs> that did not qualify. So, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna send it to commercial, folks. Yeah. While they get the game set up. Um, don't know what commercial we're gonna put you to. But again. Congratulations, Kimberly, on your first poll of your career here. And congratulations on becoming the first woman to grab a poll position in RCRA. Now, it, it's it's important to remember, uh, we, al we also have Ella, who has joined the league. So there's potential for some good driving in the form of Ella as well. Anyways, I'm going to send it off to a commercial. Enjoy, enjoy Will Ferrell. He's a lovely man. Lovely man. Lovely man. Did you know that Norway sells way more electric cars per capita than the U.S.? Norway. <laughs> well, I won't stand for it. Just, uh, stream muted. So they GM's can't hear me. Ultium battery, we're gonna oh. crush those losers. <laughs> crush them! Let's go, America. Keenan, Norway's out EVing us. Wait, wait, what's this? Oh, it's my daughter's birthday. She's really a pirate I don't lately. care. Grab an EV, meet me in Norway. Okay, can I say goodbye to my family? Nope. All right. Ah! <clears throat> Aquafina, sorry to disturb you. But Norway's beating us at EVs. Nuh uh. Uh huh. Nuh uh. Uh huh. Meet me there in an hour. Can I ride with you? No! GM's Ultium battery is made for all types of vehicles, so soon everyone can drive an EV. Oh! Why didn't we all just go together? No one will, he's probably flying private. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh. Hey, Norway, listen up, you fish loving! This place is adorable. Damn it. Where are you guys? We're in Finland. Where are you? I'm in Norway. Norway? You're in Sweden. Oh, damn it. Hi, I'm...
Mic off. Mic on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Um, our son at the Henry Ford Health Systems 200. We have the truck drivers. Ready to uh, line up and take the national anthem. Um, as a tradition here at Michigan, there are typically a lot of Canadian fans in attendance. So Canada will be played f f first. And then the U.S. Star Spangled Banner will be played. Unless they decide to do it in another order, but that's how I would do it. And that's how they do it in real life. So I will be... Muting for the national anthem. So we ask you to please be silent for the playing of the national anthems. Well, those were your national anthems, ladies and gentlemen. It should be a good one. The Henry Ford Health Systems 200 kicking off here at Michigan Air National Speedway. It's a beautiful day here in Michigan. It's a beautiful day for some racing. They're ready to go. They're antsy. I believe it will be double foul restarts. I will be reading out your qualifiers qualifiers I'll be telling you where they have qualified row one you have Kimberly and glitch row two KM bug and para 
Row three, Xander and I'm the baby. Row four, K Dub and Josh. Row five, Soccer and Lou. That's two motor Northern Motorsports trucks sharing the fifth row. And row six, you have Ferret and Max Audinator back after his long hiatus. And he just beat the qualifying limit. So they have done single they have opted for single file pacing, even though they did the rows. You'd have to ask somebody else about why they would do that, but that's what they did. I'm on the track. That's not good, Alex. Don't do that. So here they come. Led by the pace car driven by Sharky. Lined up nicely. Spaced out nicely. Ready for a green flag run. And we hope it stays green, as long as it can stay green. Single file restarts. 69 laps. Pace car has pulled off. Kimberly leads them to the green. The green flag is out. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, you bunch of hot dogs. I've been waiting to say that for a while. Let's keep in on the action. Kim, good jump off that line. Glitch behind her. They have bunched up at the back. But, uh, oh, a little bit of server lag. Just a little bit. It should not impact the race. In a manner that makes it unraceable, though. Kimberly and Glitch leading the field down the front stretch. The Northern Motorsports sports car off. Ooh, free wide at the back. Which officials are going to watch that. Kimberly still out front leading that pack. Lou running. Leading the, I guess you could say the backpack. They have separated now. Xander looking for the pass on. Josh, he's going to get it. He's going to slide right in behind Para, that Penske truck running P4. Competition caution hasn't been announced. Lap 30. A lot of those trucks just got into the wall. Glitch is trying to challenge Kimberly. He's going to be in the draft. He's going to have the run. He, he might take it low. He's going to stay in that high lane. A little bit of server light is going to cause him to go up into the wall. Kimberly's going to hold her line and stay in that bottom groove. And she's going to come out still first when they get out of that turn. We have Xander in a battle for a place with I'm the baby for real. And there he goes. He's looking inside on that number nine truck of Josh. Subbing for Plasma, the points leader. They're side by side down the back stretch. My game is too loud. I need to turn this down a bit. Side by side down the back stretch. Josh, and he's going to get the pass off on no he's not gonna get the pass off on josh what am i talking about what am i talking about you can see kimberly riding that high lane glitch not too far behind leading them out of turn two the 18 truck of km bug or k dub i really get them mixed up that's km bug i know that much i know better leads them into turn four out of turn four here they come Trying to get positions wherever they can. That number 10 car of Josh up into the wall. Two Penske trucks battling it out for a position. That's Josh and Para both subbing for their teammates today. Kimberly, the replacement for Demonic. Running better than Demonic ever had. I'll tell you that much. Sky got a bargain. Sky got a good bargain. Good for him. Down that front stretch. Once again, Glitch is running good here. He has the pace, but Kimberly is just making no mistake. She she wants to win. She wants to shut up the haters. She wants to shut them up. And so far, she's doing exactly that. Some two-ride racing back here. 
couple Northern Motorsports trucks lagging behind. There's one right there. Ferret making his debut for Northern Motorsports, his debut in the truck series here at the Roblox Stock Car Racing Association. Didn't need to say the full name. Whew. But there he is running side by side with I'm the Baby. This is the battle for, I believe, seventh. Oh no! He's up on his roof. And that's going to pull out a caution. I'm not too sure what happened there. I think. I don't know what happened there. I think he got a. I think he just really honestly got a bad. I just think. I don't know. Could have been a bump. That he hit, and then they were just so close that. Uh, that car just managed to get underneath the other one. That's going to bring out a caution. And the pits are going to be open. That Northern Motorsports truck, 52, who. Just wrecked out, falling back into last place, and the warning is going to go to I'm the baby. Um, but it looks, they say it looked intentional. I didn't get a really good view on that. But uh, one car, one truck comes down pit road. Let's see what it's going to be for him. I believe this is Xander. Yes, this is Xander driving the 57 TRGL Chevy. Subbing for Barry. Looks like it's going to be tires for him. Maybe some fuel. Tires and some fuel for him. Yep. Four tires and two cans of fuel, I believe. Maybe not two cans, but he got his fuel. And uh, I would like to bring someone up. We're gonna do a Clint in the booth with Glitch here. Hey Glitch, how you doing? I don't know if you can hear. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good. Um, very good qualifying for you, and your your truck has speed, and I'm sure you're happy after failing to qualify for the last two truck races, I believe it was. You're running no, P2 and one. you qualified P2. Oh, just one, okay, just one. Um, do you think you have good pace? Do you think you could win? What's going on with the truck? Yeah, the truck seems good overall. I just need to get my line down when I'm on fresher tires. Right. Do you think you could possibly get out in front of that number seven truck? I mean, I'm going to try to stay behind the seven truck because she's going for points and I'm not. So I'd rather have okay. her go for that win instead of me because it's not it's more important for her than me. Okay, that's so good. Really, that's... I'm just trying to hold these guys off. Okay, that's some good aware driving. Well, I'm going to slide you back into the joint race comms. Thanks for coming up. Yeah, you're welcome. Good luck. So that's number three of Glitch running P2 right now in the U.S. Army Charter for Sky High Racing. Riding behind a Sky High Racing truck. Might be some strategy in play for those two front runners. Green this time, as the officials have shown it. Thirteen out of sixty-nine laps have been raced here at Michigan. We get ready for the restart. I don't know what he's doing. Here they come to that ally restart zone. Kim, ooh, a little... Kind of got turned there by the three, I don't know. Maybe just some aggressive start. Didn't get turned, but just an over-aggressive start, and that's to be... It's understandable. Green flag racing. Here comes the pace car. Please don't kill me. So another good restart for Kim in that number three car of Glitch. The field stacking up behind them. And you know what I think? What's Aside from the good driving, what's helping them get out in front is the fact that the field... Um, it checks up on the restart, and, uh, they get going, and, uh, that's all it takes. I mean, draft is difficult to get here at Michigan sometimes. It's, it's not a track that you make 
you gotta set up your passes, and it sometimes takes laps, several laps to do. Number 38 truck running behind that NASA truck. 16 and 18 just both got verbals. Not sure what for. Again, I'm missing some things here because there's... It's a 12 car, 12 truck pack. It's, it's hard to watch just everyone. So, uh, feel for the officials today. But, again, number 3 car looking outside on Kimberly. Into the wall behind them. I think that number, it looks like that number 9 car kind of just sent it in there. Um... But leading them down the back stretch, single file for the most part, with the exception of a few trucks. Once again, up into that high wall, and uh, there have not there has not been a single position lead today. So, yeah, that should tell you what it needs to tell you. We're almost 20 laps in. There's a 30. This competition caution at lap 30. Checking on the 27 of Xander, subbing for his teammate Barry. Right now, running about P6, fighting with Para for that P5 spot. Subbing in for that 10 truck is Para. He's subbing for Halo. Currently, the second truck in the points standings. After having a good lead, he managed to lose it. Oh no! That 27 truck just slid up in front of him. Uh, I don't think he's going to be too happy about that one. It looks like Kimberly has lost the lead to Glitch. Um, I'm sure Shervelag is a little bit of a problem here for these guys. But from what I can tell, hopefully not too bad. Um, there's Glitch out in front leading the pack into turn one. Single file up at that high lane, the pits are open. Of course they are. There's green flag racing after all. Number 18 truck of KM Bug. Tailing him in P2. And not far behind him, that 38 of... Um, I believe that is Soccer. A new Northern Motorsports truck. But you can see here, Kim is fighting back on that outside lane. Or inside lane, rather. And uh, he's, she's going to force Soccer to take that high lane. She's going to stay with him. He has to catch up to that 18 truck. And he's going to get the run off that outside lane. And he should be clear. Comes up to the side draft. And Kim gets the nice... Oh, not quite on the side draft that time. Not quite on the side draft. We tune in with the back of the pack here. Lou leading that pack. Not a bad showing for him. Currently running P8. We get, we get it. The pits are open. We get it. We get it, folks. We get it, officials. Glitch still leading that pack. You can see him being chased down by that 18 truck. And that 38 truck. And Kim not far behind as either. Don't count her out either. Here they come onto the front stretch. You can see it's like a 4, four or 5 car breakaway. Then you have the rest of the pack and go underneath that apron. And the nine of Josh shoving for plasma, not looking too good. And that is not where the current points leader wants to see that truck, I tell you that much. He wants points. Josh is gonna have to be in the top ten to get him. So, um, yeah. Here they come again. Kimberly gains a spot on the thirty eight, but he's gonna have the run again. Might be able to take it back here. There they go, side by side, into turn one. Disregard, Kimberly has pulled off the pass. And, um... Oh! Might as well tuning into the stream. Like I just said, that's not where he wants to see his number nine truck. Because uh, Plasma's a good driver. And that's not where I want to see it either as a team owner. But I digress. Let's running P1. With that KM bug truck. TR jail truck. He's been good lately, and I think he's going to finish out the season strong. I really think he is. The battle behind for fourth. There's a caution. Something must have happened on track. Not, sh not sure what the caution's for. It's not the comp caution. Oh, there it is. I guess he spun out. Somebody turned him, I hope. Not. Hopefully. Well, that's going to bring out our second caution of the day. 
And that glitch is going to lead him back to the caution, and that's going to allow the field to bunch it back up. Here, as they go by. Here's the pace car. Where is the pace car? You know, if the pace car had just stayed right there, uh, it would have caught him. The field would have caught the pace car. There goes the RCR pace car. And there goes that truck. Um, I'm going to do another Clinton to Booth, and th this time I'm going to bring up Kimberly. Why not? Hey, Kimberly. It's uh, the one guy in the booth. You got me? Hi, yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you on your first poll. Thank you. Um, yeah. Running very quickly today. I think the truck has pace. I think you and the truck have the pace that it needs for a win. How are you feeling about the track and um, the race so far? I like the track. This is a very fun track to race. I'm pretty nervous. Um, this being my first time, first race in the league, but just trying to hold. The oh, shit. Oh, no. I, I hope I didn't distracted. distract you. I hope I didn't. Oh, oh, no. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry if I distracted it's okay, you. It's okay. <laughs> Did I it not mean to? Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. I'm, I'm probably, I don't know what to do. Oh I think God. you you just should go around and pit again. Would okay. be my advice to you. Yeah. Um. Again, sorry yeah, about just, that. Yeah, just try not to mess up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I, that I got that out of the way. I guess I'm gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. I I I didn't I didn't know there was a pit cycle going on because you know the comp cautions is in five laps. I guess that was canceled. But e yeah. either way, you know, you have great pace. I hope the slow trucks don't slow you up. I hope you can get past them. Yeah, I'm and, happy um, to as well. Thank you for coming up in the booth. I hope I'll be talking to you again at the end of the <laughs> race. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Alex. Oh, that's the wrong person. Well, a bad break for Kimberly. Uh, I hope... Again, I had no idea that the pit cycle was going on. I guess that comp caution has indeed been cancelled. Um, I'm sure she won't be able to make up the spots. So I'm not going to bring anybody else up here this this time because uh, I don't want to distract anybody. I, like to, I do like to talk to the drivers during the race so it's important to hear their feedback and hear how they're feeling about it. I don't know if... Uh, I guess KM Bug must have got the jump on uh, Glitch off of pit road. I hope they're going to allow time for Kimberly to catch up. I think they are. Yep, they're going to go green next time, I believe. And that should be more than enough time for her to catch up. Coming down that back stretch. And, uh... Yeah, they're going green this time. We'll go on board with Cam Bug. Not on board, but... You get the point. So the running order as it is right now, it's KM Bug out in front. Glitch second, Xander moved his way up to third. Soccer fourth, Para running fifth. The Baby running sixth, Lou running seventh, Josh in eighth. I think Plasma can take a breather. His truck's running in eighth, that's better than last. But uh, enough of that. Kimberly has caught up to the field. We are green this time. Coming to the restart zone. Very nice restart. And there they go. Single file. 27 of Xander pulls out. And the 38 goes with him. Oh, some contact up front. Oh, God. Some of them are just sending it in there. Some of them are just sending it in there. Let's not start with that guy. It's been a good race so far. Let's not start with the sending it. Cam Bug's going to pick up a one of the three. And I believe that was for a send. Send and a half, if you will. So now back out in front is Glitch being challenged by that 38 car soccer. Down the front stretch. That's 30 laps, folks. He's going to look. Ooh, he's going to get moved out of the way. They're going to go three wide into turn one. And the 10 truck's just going to slide up and use him as a brake. Who's in that 10 truck? That's Para. Para, you should know better. Down the back stretch. And into turn three. I'm disappointed on that pass. Terry? I got Terry in the booth. Terry, what happened? Thought you were supposed to drive. Well, uh, okay. 
I mean, I saw your car sitting there on on the qualify on the pit road. I said I was gonna qualify last. They didn't listen. Oh no! And uh, ten truck of para just slides up the track again. I don't know. An official ought to send him more into that one. I don't know what what they were doing, but they started like throwing the trucks everywhere. I, I joined back to like. I, I was gonna do something, so I told him I was gonna go last, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but um, by the looks of it, Xfinity might be heading back to Michigan. So. Uh, I think the vote was for Michigan. Um, so. Uh, yeah, between Michigan and Dover. Oh no! Okay. KM bug. That's gonna maybe pull out a caution. No, no caution. Oh yeah, that has to pull out a caution. That was just a horrible merge. I don't know what happened there, but cam bug slowed up a lot of trucks and uh, he's having a good day and hopefully he doesn't ruin it now and they are gonna pull out a caution from that 16 of the baby three out of three already and you know what else that means that means that's a race suspension for him I don't know what he's thinking I don't know what he's doing I don't know why he comes out here and drives like that I just don't know I could not tell you if my life depended on it and I also don't know if there's a caution or not, because the caution flag was out. Now it's now it's green. So they're gonna have to use their voices. They're gonna have to figure this out and not screw up the the pack because of the poor officiating. Um, Lou and get past up that 18 down. car. Up and down try. officiating this week. Yeah, that's what happens when I'm. Uh, not officiating, so sadly. I do need a break, though. I'm going to age 90 years officiating every single race. Anyways, we're here to commentate a race. And uh, soccer is pulled out in front of that pack now. Running P1, glitch close behind. Para close behind him. Single Staying file that wall. That This single file, for the most part. That 10 was making a move on glitch. Glitch went down to make a block. And fortunately for him, that move's going to cost him some time and allow. So I'm not sure what's going on with this 16 car. If he has 3 to 3, he should be receiving a penalty. I'm not sure it's if it was rescinded. But, uh... He, he could just not be listening to him. And hence do that. Let's go check in on the... On uh, that through PMs real quick, but uh, Glitch trying to make a move on the 38 here, just trying to stay with him. Um, I was 2 out of 3, oh. okay, they made a mistake. That's understandable, we all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Single file race in here at Michigan, not uncommon at all. Oh, yesterday. Yep. Again. The 10th in the apron. And there go, um, again, see, with that, there's a couple of new trucks, and I got to learn some new names. I believe it's Furret, 38 truck, running. I think it's soccer. P1. Actually. Soccer, soccer, yes. Soccer. So, Furret is in the 50, 52, 52. Right? 52. So soccer's leading them into turn one. Glitch looking inside, but he's not going to have anything there. I'm the baby making a move on the in Let's just not talk about what he, whatever he just did, but he got up into the wall there. Um, trying to make a pass on Josh. Plasma's truck, the current truck points leader. He's actually making his way back up to the front. And so is Kim, who was last after a botched pitch, pitch, pit stop. Excuse my language. Um, she's waking, making, working her way back up there. In fact, she might be looking for a pass uh -oh. on the 88 car. What happened? Contact the front, th the three just put, a, put oh, the 38 yeah. in the wall and makes three it pass Three and the 38. Them. The 38 is going to have a run off the outside unless the three slides up. It's not going to slide up. Catching them. And here comes the 10 as well. 10 of pair. Uh oh, contact. Someone's going to die. Oh, they're going to send it three wide inside. here. Oh, oh, no, they're not. There they go. Onto the front stretch. Side by side on the front stretch. He needs to side draft team. He needs to side draft team. Yes. Here they go into turn one, the battle oh. for first, and Glitch is going to come out. Nope, not in front, here comes but Para. here comes Para, too. 
A good battle That's going right. on here. And Xander's looking to make some time off of that. Here comes Para to the inside of the soccer. Inside of soccer. Para looking inside. Oh. Oh, no! That's not good. Slide up the track and door him. He has one of the three. See what the officials do about that. I think that was a racing incident, but still, that's, uh, that was bad. They can move on the three. Okay. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> Glitch still in P1. Oh, was it? Interesting. So the pits are open. Some good green, green. Green, 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 green flag racing. Um, I'm surprised. It hasn't been bad. Um, yeah. I hope the truck drivers feel the same. At least. I don't think they will. It's pretty heated in there when I was. Uh, oh, was it? What was it about the officiating or what? The was, lag? Everyone was complaining. Is oh yeah. yeah. You couldn't. You couldn't understand. It was. Oh, we got green flag pit stops. We do, we got takers, Xander and that. Xander and Josh on the pit road. I think it's going to be Sunoco Fuel and Goodyear Tires. Don't know why that Firestone made me laugh. Tires. It's not funny. Firestone, Bridgestone Tires. Michelin. Michelin Tires. Pirelli. So they're side by side for P2 right now. They're not wow, coming down the pit road. Away. Let's see. These cars are... Getting on pit road, they're gonna come oh, off pit road. Here comes Lou. Twenty-seven out in front, and that's gonna be some lap cars. They're gonna have to merge properly. We got Lou down pit road, and we also got Max Audinator down pit road. So green flag pit stops. We expected it. So now the strategy comes into play. Glitch running out in front. The leader of the cars that have pit. Xander. Xander. And. Mm, Josh, yes. <laughs> and the longer so, these guys stay out, the more time Xander can gain on them because they yes. have less, less good tires. So there's another. There go the leaders again. That's gonna put Lou another lap down. Well, a lap down. Xander escapes on by him, him. and uh, Josh is coming too. But I think Lou is gonna beat Josh back onto the back stretch, and he's gonna actually gain a position off of that cycle. Don't know what happened to Josh, but Lou gained a position on pit road. Good for him. Is, is any, if anybody's coming down this time, nope. They're going to try and stretch that fuel and stretch those tires. And what we saw in the Xfinity race is it will work, but if these, once you get those fresh tires on, you're going to be lapping faster. You're going to lap slower on the old tires, obviously. It's common sense, but... So much so to where you had such Phil had such a huge lead yesterday. I mean, yeah, the cars were they're doing that themselves. so they can put people laps down so they don't have to worry about them later in the race. But you see, like another end. thing is though, Terry, this is a shorter race, so it's not like you're lapping people with forty laps yeah, to go, right? It might not work. It's it's a gamble. It's oh here go oh oh uh oh oh no. missed it missed it oh some cars missing the pit. It's a hard pit road to enter. It is a very yesterday. it is a hard pit road to enter. Him back in fourth, third. The baby has stayed out. So look, so look Xander. There's your current. There, that, that's that's glitch. He's, He's about the to leader. Unlap himself. Xander's about to unlap himself. Nope. Yeah, glitch is going for tires. Glitch is going for tires. So this is a chance. The baby's staying out, and this is a chance for a bunch of cars to get going now. Lap cars to get going. I believe those two car those two trucks right there, I believe they have not pit for tires yet. You have the thirty eight off of pit road. Let's take a look at our leaderboard actually and I'll be able to update you even better on what's the going on on pit road. Leading. The baby is leading because he has Just decided to stay him. out. He's playing the tire game, but you can already see Xander's by glitch who went down pit road, smart decision, and he's already working away at the baby as they come down the front stretch there. So as you can see, the baby is leader. Kim has not pit. Para has not pit. And uh, there's, also, there's actually still a couple of trucks that haven't pit yet. 
and you're going to notice it. Yeah, you can see Kim's just falling off there. Kim is one of Glitch them. is re-merging here onto the track. Kim's going to need to go down and get some, some tires and some Sonoko fuel. Um, so Xander coming up on the baby, and I don't think he's going to be out in front too much longer. But you do have trucks that have decided to stay out, even past what I would say is the suggested pit window. I mean, just look at how slow, I mean... That's being para, he's... He's losing time, too. Yeah, I don't know what strategy's at play right now, but, um... There is strategy trying at play. new things. Trying new things. It's not often in a try. I don't even know... We got another car coming down pit road, who's that? In fact, we got two. K-Dub off of pit road... And... Is that para? No, para, para onto pit road, yep. So Paris said, I, I have had enough of these old tires. He's made the right get decision. Past. And here goes Xander onto the, up to the leader. And he should be able to just skate on by him. Just look at how he just, yeah. like, yeah. easy. No problem at all. But Paris, or the baby, is going to fight back. He's going to take that outside lane. And Xander's just going to get a better drive into the corner. And he's going to get a better drive out of the corner on those tires. You can just see how 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 weird the line is that, that you have to take on old tires. And that's Xander easily by the baby. So I don't know what the baby's doing now. The car that he needed to, ha to held off was Xander. Glitch has pit. So Glitch is on fresh tires. Um, and he's gaining fast. So I don't know what the baby's doing. But at this point... At this he's point, only losing time. I'm going in for tires at this point. Yeah. Oh, Glitch is going to pass him here. Yep. Oh, unless he's oh, going to push wall. Glitch up the track. Oh, and yeah, come on. That is a horrible just you know, I do that. bad. And I, hope, I don't and know if that's going to black him. flag him. But I think he's going to get down on the apron. And it only took him. He he's only needed to down. kill a car. You know. And that's why it's so important. I don't know what he's doing. He's going so slow on the track right now. He's just become a hazard. And he typically does this when he gets his warning. He just thinks he can just, like, slow down to become a turtle. God knows, but uh, nice, glitch and Lou, Lou. I don't. Is Lou on fresh tires? I think he is. Yeah, he is. He pit uh, with just after lap after Xander. Yeah. So um, Lou on fresh tires and he's running nicely right now. Him has not pit yet. Really? Yeah, she's the leader right now. Okay, so Kim has not pit and. The baby has not pit, and this 53 has not pit. I really don't know what they're planning to do. Gamble. I don't know how long those tires can last, but you don't want to get to 0% because... I mean... That's your race. With this many laps to go. And just look at the baby on those old tires, and you know what? I really feel bad for the car trucks around him. Because if you're going to decide to stay out on those old tires, you have to have control of your truck. And he doesn't have control of his truck. He's slow and he's in his way, and the 16 has been black flagged. Mm -hmm. That's a suspension. Why am I not surprised? And look what he's going to do. He's going to get in the way of the other trucks. He's black flagged. He needs to get off the throttle. But he's not going to do it. He's yeah, just going to keep he, going. He put, he put Lou in the wall, didn't he? Oh, that's yeah. not Lou. That's Max. And he's not going in. He's not going in. He's not serving that black flag. He's not getting off the track. And the officials are going to have to get him out of their quickly because he's holding up the 18 right now wonder and what he is could going be on a danger in he could be a danger to other trucks yeah they didn't get him out of there they go check the other vc really quick okay he's finally slowed down to get off the track i need to keep up with god i tell you what's the matter with that guy gets black flag then praise the lord he's off the track. Praise Jesus. So Glitch and Lou, your leaders on fresh tires. Kimberly trying to make it last. Uh, let's go on board with Kimberly. Where's Kimberly at? Okay, imaginary. There she is. Currently, she has some more cars on fresh Whoa. tires coming up. What happened? Someone just flew. And, uh, 
there is a caution. The caution has come out. Don't know what the caution is for, but uh, I don't know if that's a comp Ooh. caution. But uh, there's tire marks in the front stretch. The caution has but come out, and that's going to be bad for everyone that has not pit. And that's they're, the gamble you take. Trapped. That's they're the gamble you take now. when you decide to. Uh, not pit for fresh tires so let's see how the officials do this now they gotta work out the lucky dogs and uh, they gotta pick up the leader who is uh, Kim and they gotta work out who should be going around to get a lap and who shouldn't be going around to get a lap and I think I think they're gonna have some trouble doing that they watch NASCAR they should be okay oh I think the 52 went down pit road before it was open. Hmm. Well, I think the... The, um... Pace car is in front of the leader, so... <sighs> that 16 car of, uh... K-Dub, black flag. Um, I want to bring Lou up here. Uh, get him in the booth. Talk to him a bit. If I can find him. There he is. I think he's muted. Let's see if he'll talk to us. Hey, Lou, the guy's in the booth, if you, if you have us. He might it's not be talking. No, it's still gone. Whoa, I'm here. Oh, so, Lou, yeah. My so, voice is, like, dead, so sorry about that. Uh, no problem, no problem. Uh, out of the cars that have pit, you're currently running... Fourth? Fifth? Yeah. Fourth? I don't know. But you're running up there. I think your team owner, he's going to... Oh, my God. Oh, your teammate yeah, just dude. slammed into you. You ought to get on the radio <laughs> and sure give him some... Out. You ought to give on, get on the radio and gonna hit, give him a hard time. You ought to talk to Rex about <laughs> that one. Tell Rex to take his license and throw it in the garbage. But anyways, good showing for you today. Yeah. Whether you come out in the in the top five, top whatever, you uh, definitely had good pace, and you showed that... Um, Next season, obviously you're not going to make the playoffs this season, but you showed that, uh, in my opinion, I think you're going to be a good driver next season. Yeah, but, thanks. Uh, I'm thinking too far ahead of myself. How are you feeling? What's your goal for the end of this race? Uh, I just want to finish because it's been a pretty messy race so far. I mean, the baby just got disqualified, so yeah. my goal is to just make it to the end. Oh, it's a pretty big mess. <laughs> it just died. All right. Well, thanks for coming up. Good luck. Yeah, strong. thanks. Uh -oh. Alright, have a good one. Just two penalties. How's this phone still working? Is that another? That should, I believe that was two commitment line violations, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was 74 and the 18 commitment line violation. Just in case, 74 to the back and the 18 is yep, to the back. I'm go. glad they caught it. Good fish shading there. Good watching, boys. Good watching. So now I need to get looking at this lap system. Because we need to find out who and who is not. On the lead. Uh, lead lap, I don't know how you. I don't know how you can miss this pit road under caution. I can kind of get it under Ooh. green flag. It's coming off of an awkward angle off the turn, and if you're not on the apron, if you're coming in too hot, you're gonna be screwed. You're gonna stuck on the bank. Hey, can I talk? No, because I'm sure. Wait, then what? Why? So I don't know what you think is going on here, but uh, so how it works. Anyways, uh, completely lost my train of thought. Anyway, I don't know how you get uh, onto the pit road like that, under caution. If you're going slow enough, you should have no problems. Um, I didn't drag you in. Who dragged you in? Let me look at the logs real quick. Wasn't me. I don't know who dragged you in. But anyways, I'll talk to you. Since you're here, why not? Uh, actually, I can't because we're about to go green. I'll talk to you after the race, though. I, I will. Um, stay close. I going think. green this time, and there they go. They're Ooh. off. Five lap shootout, and uh, glitch is currently the leader. They're gonna crash. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, we, we gotta get in the aerial view for this one. 
there's a lot going on and yeah there they go that 50 that uh that that truck right there the 52 got into the quarter panel of josh and put him in the wall and here comes kimberly and glitch and lou's up there too so uh it's looking yeah, potentially good for him and para's back up here yeah, he's got he his teammate on, on the outside point. It looks, I don't know, Lou doesn't look like his line's too solid right now. So there are Glitch and Kim go down the back stretch. It's been a battle between them all day. Um, Glitch would be happy to win. Kim would be happy to win. Hell, oh, Para. Para looking inside on the number seven car. They're going to slide up that track. Mm. Here they come on the back stretch. Kim gets a spot back. And again, Kim's going to look low. Para is going to look outside on Kim. I hear tire run, marks. Yeah, they're wrecking behind. The number 9 and the 38 involved with each other. That might pull out the caution. Yep, they're going to pull out I the caution. So, um, a green white checkered? I believe that is a green white checkered. Overtime 1, yep. They got it. Overtime 1. At least I can say, uh, right as of right now. Oh gosh, Josh, that rhymes. But yes, oh gosh, Josh. I know he's not happy. Because, you know, he gets... looking uh, gets scarily warm. similar to the yesterday. The three is leading on in overtime. And, uh... Yes, he is leading in overtime. Just like you were leading in overtime. Uh, yeah. In the three. No? Yes, in the yeah. three. <laughs> It's yeah, ironic. Happy. It's very you ironic. Or water in the last lap. You never know. Yeah. It, uh, maybe his teammate. Maybe it's know. the Dale Earnhardt curse of Michigan. Even though I don't think Dale they Earnhardt. raced at Michigan, did they? It was, when was Michigan built? That's the question. 1969, I believe. 1969? Okay, here, here's a trivia question, folks. When was Michigan Super Speedway built? If you answer correctly, I'll give you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a surprise to announce, actually. I'm holding off on announcing this, but uh, the winner of this race is going to get a thousand bow bucks. What? Yeah, the winner of this race is going to get a thousand bow bucks. Wait, 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 what? I'm feeling nice. I shouldn't have announced it. I hope they didn't hear on the stream. They heard it. I am here. Hello, Rex. Winner of this race, a thousand bow bucks. It's not much. It's yeah, not much. Yeah, not at all. Formula E Roblox, Google it. 1968. So Dale Earnhardt turned some laps on Michigan. Maybe. Don't know. Anyways. October 13th. I think Phil gets the point because, you know, Phil answered it exactly. But anyways, enough of that. They got, we gotta go. What do you say? I don't even know. Glitch. <laughs> Glitch running up there. P1. Oh, we um, just came to that. Oh. oh, yep. Kim's looking outside. Para's looking inside. But He's Para. Whoa! Oh God! Run. I'm the baby. I know now. you're the baby. I'm the baby for real. Oh! Enough of that. Enough of that. We gotta get into commentary. This is gonna be a close finish. Oh God! Oh well, here God! Comes oh no! Here comes Xander oh, no. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be so tight. It's gonna be very interesting. Hopefully the uh, the three doesn't turn the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Anyway. Like Terry did to me. Right, um, so here we go. Turn Moving one. On. Ooh, Glitch moves Halo. Oh, that's not oh. good! It's not good from Glitch. Oh, no. That's gonna bunch the field up. Contact! He's not out of it yet, though. Oh, Xander to the lead, now. Very, very bad there. Glitch slid up the track, and that's gonna three by three. bunch them up. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't oh, like no, this. Oh, no, no that's not good. That's not teammate. good! Oh. By her teammate. Oh, and that's a man, big a wreck on the bat in turn three. Put it out, turn oh, three. My. Put it out, turn the three. Through. Kim turned by her own oh. teammate, Rex. You, you better talk to your truck drivers. They're turning each other uh, at Michigan. She's not my teammate, but... <laughs> oh, wait, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. My apologies. Seven um, sky, isn't sky High racing truck turned by the Northern Motorsports Rivalry's truck. Rivalry brewing? Is that what I see? I don't know. Is it a rivalry? But that... this is sus. You got three Sky... My Northern Motorsports truck... Placed in P3, 4, and 5. Sus. Sussy among us. Sus. 
tough break for Kim, Burley. Um, yeah. At least, whoa, up, standard, uh, standard. Running up the front. I guess they opened the, the pit road. I mean that. I don't know if that's right. Uh oh. I don't know. I think Josh got a pit line. Anywho, um, I don't know why they'd go down pit road. Four Toyotas. I mean, maybe it'll work. You never know. Did all the Chevys go down pit road? Josh entered late. I don't think did they catch it. Did they call it? Anybody see him call? Yeah, they did. He's okay. in the back. Because sometimes you gotta oh, give him, gotta help him out. We got four Toyotas at the uh, top four right now. Yeah, this is this is a bo this is bozoism. <laughs> this is bozoism right here. Four Toyotas leading the pack. God knows what happened. There's Xander down the front stretch. Penske trucks not looking like it's gonna be a good finish for them. Bad day for Penske here. Bad day for Penske. And Plasma's probably gonna... Plasma's gonna... Bust his ass. I mean, he is leader in points. Plasma's he? gonna bust his ass. Well, bust his ass. Give him after this race, he's gonna bust his ass. Anyways, we're green this time, folks. You know what that means, right? That means they're gonna drive their cars. Double file? Go around the track, and they're gonna turn left. Oh my god. What are they doing back there? Oh yeah, see this is when oh, everybody no. gets angst antsy and stops driving properly. It's always oh. during the overtimes where it goes to just They're all bunching up. Badism. Oh, wow. well, yep. not badism, good. badism, badism. There they go. With a good lead. Huge jump. They're bunched up back there. Xander, he's on new tires. Oh, that number oh. three of glitch, horrible block on Josh, and Josh ain't gonna be happy about that one. Neither am I. I digress. I think Xander's gonna win Ooh, this. Going up to P two. Um, it's hard Todd server lag right through. now. Oh wow! And here comes Kim too. Xander and his teammate are on fresh tires. Oh wow. no! That number oh, seven no. car slides up in front of that thirty-eight. Oh, they gotta stay high no. here. They gotta stay high. They're gonna cause oh, a wreck. No. They're mad. They're angry. They know they've lost. They're mad. They're angry. They know. They've so lost. you got two Northern Motorsports trucks leading the field off of luck. I'm just kidding. Lou has been Not driving dead. good. That number 53, though, or... I, that's I mean, luck. He, I hate he to tell turned, He turned it. Really? I, I think... Oh, oh no! Oh. The 18. Into the back of the 74. They're going to oh, slide up the Xander track. The Lou. Xander at the inside of Lou. Oh, and no! just slides up the oh, track. No. And Xander, oh, no. what, what are you doing, oh, you maniac? No. Oh, oh, and it's, oh my gosh. It is no, that's not... Back. I don't know. Is the white flag out? Was that the finish? The caution is out. I don't know. The caution is out before the white flag. I think it came out before the white flag. And that is just too. a horrible break for Lou. I don't know what Xander's thinking, sending it up there like but, that. He should know better than that. And they're, they're good friends. He should really know better than that. I think Xander just thought he could get by him because he had better, better tires. The TRTL drivers moving. at their finest. <laughs> should really know better than that. I mean, they're going to have to change the laps here. I believe that's the final overtime. Hasn't there been three already, or is this the third one? This is the third, I, I this is the third one. Overtime yeah. number three. Pits closed. Next caution ends the race, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Well, they're going to race back, I would assume, unless... Uh... See, uh, Bubba Next here. caution should be a race back. <laughs> and, uh... Race back, they will. Lou, I just... I feel bad for Lou, man. He was running P3, P2 in his debut, and... As uh, Xfinity driver, who should know better, ruins his day. I'd hate to hear Gosh, the VC. Gosh, back up to fourth after his violation. I'd hate to hear the VC, but now it's going to be up to that number 52 car to hold off Glitch. In fact, he's going to hold off the whole field because he's just slid up into the wall. And the pace car is going to go around again. I don't know why they're letting the co the pits be open in every lap. I wouldn't do that as race control, but it's um Lou it's up to it's Vander. up to them. Lou and Vander on pit road getting tires. They're gonna want to make up as many spots as they can. Uh oh. What? Fifty two is not holding pace speed. 
Oh, the glitch is gonna be nice. Pretty sure they're going uh, double. Fire. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. I'd take it. Overtime three, it. race he's, back. He's not holding pace speed. Oh, pace number eighteen is going to the back too. I don't know what he's doing. He's gonna pull in front of Kim. Oh, is that some? That's that a beef on track. Around each other. What's that eight? Is oh, the eight? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on? The RGL drivers, be, I tell you. He needs to be part of the pace car doing. The pace, doing. And the pace oh, cars on meth too now. Great. What a great way to end the race here, folks. What a great yeah, way to end the race. Hopefully, you get a good finish. Like yesterday. That pace car should be parked for this race. And maybe the rest of the season. Remember for that. Season. For that. So, this is overtime number three, and we all know how chaotic and... Is this the first ever race of the third overtime? Not for trucks, no. They had it at Dega, I think. Oh, they did? I think so, yeah. So here they go, the second overtime three in a truck race in a row. It's gonna be a race And uh, I'm scared. It's I'm gonna scared. Be because I tell you right now, there's going to be a wreck. Gonna happen. And people are going to send it. So I'm going to get some good footage. We saw, that, uh, we saw that from the last race at uh, Yeah, we sure did. We sure did. Here we go. Uh, go to Pace the cars flag. and needs to get off the track, though. Okay, thank Great you for flag. the heavens. Pace Green flag is out. Oh, Glitch on that apron. Hey, Dr. Damn, bud. Goes oh, they're three wide at the back. 52. Oh. Josh the outside. Inside from third. He clears them. Oh, but he's going not going to give up yet, of course. No. Going to give up two just by yet. Two by two. Two by two. Top four. I'm into two the way. This is looking awfully familiar. It is. The um, white flag. That number the nine truck flag. is going to slide oh, up the track. Know. And that number 52 car, they're going to take the white flag here at Michigan. Flag, Next sure, flag man. will end the race, regardless of what happens. Glitch trying to hold out. Clear. That pace Dump car, better watch it. Oh, they're they're, both they're getting up in. into the wall. The 52 looking. Oh, the number nine looking. Two more too. turns. Two, Two more turns for Glitch, and he will have it. Come. And let's see what goes on here. Prepare for the send of the century. He's not going to break. Oh, None nine and breaking. The nine and eighteen. Oh my God! Yeah, the eighteen is going to steal it. They're three wide. Glitch is going to take the win. Oh wow! The Backing behind. Glitch wins easily. The eighteen needs to be parked. And, uh, and maybe for the rest of the season. For I'm that. The three in victory lane. That's for that. For that. For that. For that. For that. Well, not as good of a finish as I expected. His first winner as a truck driver. Somehow, no wreck. Plasma, his sub finish in P3 for him. You can see his relief. Um, his relief. 52 is making contact with a 9 little few Lou after says, uh, Lou says, they're keep mad, they're angry, they know finish. they've lost. Keep me away from the 27 after this race. <laughs> I would I would say the same. He's gonna bust his ass, that's for sure. We're just gonna bust put on game. a five second slow mode in general <laughs> and drag glitch up. Oh glitch he fell out of his car. Hello. He's dead. Congrats. Thank you. Are you slightly impaired probably? He he has jumped out of his vehicle and then ran back into the back of his vehicle. He's dying. Mm -hmm. Have you had anything to drink today, sir? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Glitch is a two-time winner in our CRA. And oh. uh, he's a winner at Trucks. Um, in that number three charter. Good for you. Thank you. When he's burnouts. Uh, anything you want to say? You want to thank your sponsor, U.S. Army sponsor? What do you want to say? <laughs> I thank my USA Army sponsor and I thank Sky for giving me this chance in Sky High Racing just to even be able to race this race. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's a, continue, continue. It's an it's an amazing feeling. Yeah, I, I bet it is. It was a hard race. It was tough. Was um, well, 
Glitch brings that number three charter to uh, Victory Lane. And, um, Gretch, congratulations. You've also won a thousand Robux. So, uh... <laughs> It, that's actually a thing. <laughs> yes, it is a thing. Do with it as you will. Um, Thanks. Again, congratulations, yeah. and uh, enjoy your time in Victory Lane. Thank you. I have a, I have a question for you, Ollie. Yeah? Angry! They know they've lost! I was gonna ask Glitch a question. I was gonna say, what um, are you gonna do with the Robux? Oh, no, it. no, we gotta know. Well, it's only a thousand <laughs> Robux. We gotta know, it's though. Only a thousand. Sorry, yeah. Terry has a question. Yep. Uh, well, uh, Glitch, what are you planning on doing oh, with those face. Robux? Oh. Hmm? What are you planning on doing with those Robux? Maybe a parachute? Hold chip out of your car. Parachute? <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> gotta, you gotta need a parachute from where you're going. <laughs> I'm in space. I, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna be doing with it. I wasn't expecting merch. to earn anything from it, so... Ah. You could go to Mexico. Was... <laughs> Can <laughs> Cancun <laughs> cruise? I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, Maybe he'll pl maybe he'll spend it and adopt me. We'll never know. No, 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 no. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I'll pay my bills in there, dude. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, thank you. Um, and again, en enjoy your time in that victory lane. Um, Lou, uh, go ahead and unmute for me, buddy. I I'm looking for a Kyle Bush quote from you, actually. If you could be so kind. I think he's maybe not at his. Oh, here he is. He unmuted. Me? Yeah, Lou. Oh my god. I got absolutely screwed in the butthole by the 27 car. You did. Jesus he Christ. slipped right up in front of you and jackknifed you. Keep me away from that mud trucker you know, after this damn race. <laughs> you know, you had good pace. I, I, I was... I was planning to see you in at least P3. That's where you were running before. What do you think yeah. happened there? Do you think it was intentional? Do you think it was a racing incident? Do you have anything for Zander? I think he's just a dumbass. I think that's what happened. <laughs> that's fair enough to say. That's good enough for yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sweating it too much. I don't really have anything to gain, so yeah. I'm just here to gain experience. Mm -hmm. But that's annoying. I could have gotten a good finish. You could have gotten a good finish, indeed. You had a good car and a good scheme. Yeah. Nice base, if I should say so myself. <laughs> um, anyways, thanks for... <laughs> good race, Lou, regardless of where you finished. Um, yeah, thanks, man. You drove good, and... Uh, yeah, I'll see ya another time. Yeah, see ya. Gosh, I just... I, just, I, just don't, I don't know... Under, like, how is Rex driving for himself? Just don't get it. Um, just makes no sense. It's really weird. Bring up, uh, bring up, uh, let's bring up, uh, Xander. Bring up the 50. Xander. He has some problems connecting sometimes. We'll give him a minute or two, maybe three. Or four. Xander. Maybe five. Oh. Yep, there he goes. He'll he would join. Xander. There you go. You got some explaining to do. Oh, yeah. What happened? On that last restart? No. What what happened with Lou, man? Oh, with Lou? Yeah. You jackknifed him. I just went down low on him. Truck sped up more than I wanted it to, and I was even slowing down, but it wasn't enough, and then the car just clipped on his nose. Yeah. Didn't mean to do it. No, I don't think you did mean to do it. Um, no. A good... What should have been a better finish for you? What were you thinking, uh going in for tires that last time i figured well tires is really like the biggest thing for michigan i especially knew that from last race mm -hmm. and i went in every caution i was figured you know if you're gonna have the freshest tires you're gonna be the fastest so figured eh, i'll take the risk going to the back on a restart along with everybody else who's gonna pit and mm -hmm. carry me up to the front which it kind of did feel like if there was another lap, I'd have definitely been up in the top three. Yeah. But it still did what I wanted it to do. Okay, well, um, you're subbing for Barry. Barry's going to get some points out of that, and that, that's, that's as much as you can help hope for, right? Yeah, 
that's what I was really looking forward to get him as much points as I could to help him out. Right. Well, you did your job, so good going. That'll be it for I me. Wanna, I want to. I want to interview Kimberly. Okay. I just want to interview the baby first, and then we'll get Kimberly in here. Uh, thanks, Sander. Uh, enjoy the rest of your nap, bud. Uh, yep. You too. The baby. Finally, I was waiting, Alex. I was like, I knew he was gonna let me talk. Yes. I um, lost my voice, you know. I'm very sick right now. I've been sick for two weeks. So, like, if I oh, sound like a teenage girl, that's why. I get you. Now, I just want to start off by saying, early on, you were looking... I don't know what it... You, you were looking good. You are driving good. Yeah. And I've been then, watching a lot of NASCAR. I've been, like, I want to, like, try to, like, not kill everyone on the tracks, you know, so... Yeah, I don't think you're doing it on purpose. No. Not at all. You qualify well. Oh, yeah. You typically do qualify well. So what do you think happened today? You want to call any officials? I don't know. You want to explain yourself? If now's your chance. You know, I'm a little bit upset. I felt like, like I said before, the the strike system is tough because you call it mid-race. You can't review anything. I feel like there should be some sort of review. I was called on some strikes that uh, was pretty unfortunate. Um, one happening in uh, coming out of turn two. I don't know who it was. Someone was coming high and they were turning down because they just tapped the wall and they came down on me. And right as I was turning into the infield, I was going straight and they came across on me and I spun them. Mm -hmm. I got called for that. Uh, and then I was on the low line. I was literally on the low line. I don't know how I turned up on him. And I literally, because I didn't. And then at the end there, it's uh, he was trying to unlap himself. And I was staying on the outside line, and he started to try to push himself. And the thing about unlapping yourself is it's like, I was letting him by. I was letting all of them by. I was letting Cane Bug. I was looking at it. I was letting Cane Bug. Who was it? Uh, Max, Josh. I was letting all of them by. And I don't know why. He just decided that he was trying to push it. I was going to let him by on the inside because I have not that much grip. Mm -hmm. And he knows that. And I was pretty upset because I felt the win was stolen from me. Because I was had a strategy going where I was, I calculated I was going to be able to finish the race. And then, and then I think what happened at the end there is, so that's pretty annoying. Because uh, I'm trying to just get top 10 so I can go to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And I've been black flagged the past three races. And it's like getting quite annoying because the race officials, I just feel like, they think that you're just trying to drive dirty. You're not trying to drive dirty. I pulled off to the side. I had an issue because I was clicked onto another tab, and I thought I couldn't go. And so they thought I had run out of fuel, and I was like, I think I ran out of fuel. But I was at, like, 124 fuel. My tires are 55. I was set in decent laps. And I know it, there's nothing that can be done. But we'll wait to see how bad that damage is done. Yeah. Because, uh... Well, I think... I think... Uh, I think you're getting better from what I've seen. So, and it's some more work, and I think you'll be good to go. But, uh, again, thanks for coming down and driving. Yeah. Like, here, if I just, like, I'm looking at it right now. So, it's kind of a tricky thing. He was coming on the outside, and he was riding up against the wall. And when you ride up against the wall, it happened to me um, within the first 10 laps. You kind of, you don't go smooth up against the wall. So I was to the left and he was up on the wall and he was bouncing because, you know, if you go on the wall, it like hits you and you hit him over and then I crash on the wall and they flagged me out and I lost all my positions. So yeah, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, I get you. Well, it's, it's unfortunate, but I hope the next yeah, race you. that you race is going to be good for you. And, uh, see, yeah, whatever. Um... This will be the what the last one, I think. Yes, Josh. Hi. Hi. Do you have anything to say? Uh, that race was pretty good. Uh, some tempers flared towards me, and the 18 kind of, you know, whoever whoever it was, the 18 kind of sent me on that last corner. Mm -hmm. Made the 52 mad at me. But now, now we got everything, you know, together. It was it was all the 18's fault. Well, I'm not trying to put the, all the blame on him because he said he lagged. But hey, it's it's racing, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it is racing. It's Robin is racing. 
right? So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. chaotic race. I yeah, was kind chaotic of race. I was, I was kind of in the back for all, all kind of the race because I was a lag and everything. Y'all shouldn't have saw me. Y'all couldn't have saw me. Yeah. No, um, what I know Rex was looking to interview Kim, but uh, I don't know where died. she's gone off to. Uh, G. Mike died. Oh, Kim. Oh, her mic book. died. Okay, well, we can get her on Race Hub. Um, unless she comes back, but I'm looking to end the stream now. We're past our we're past our allocated programming time. Um, they're trying to get Family Guy on, so we got <laughs> we gotta go. You, <laughs> we we thank you for uh, Terry's beanism. Tuning in to. Oh yeah, hello Twitch. The I Roblox know. Stock Car Racing Association. I'm gonna ask you to mute if you're in if you're in media. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in, and um, we'll see you next week. It's been a good week of racing, and uh, again, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.